Hey everyone, I've got another dream to share and this is one I hesitated to share for a little bit just because I was, it's not a dream that, it's not a type of dream I usually have. And so I prayed on it and I just kept getting confirmation after confirmation that this is something consistent, especially that the Lord is showing a lot of other people the same thing. Okay. I'll get right to it. This dream, I couldn't be sure of the date. I know it wasn't that long ago. I want to think it was like within the last week. And my guess was May 16th, if not maybe give or take a day, but it was right around that time. Okay, it started out that I was in someone's kitchen and I felt like I may have been in an apartment of some kind. I didn't recognize where I was. It wasn't my home. I just felt like I was in the kitchen having conversation. Something was going on that I have, that has been completely wiped from my memory. I just knew I was in there. And I was with my daughter my older daughter, who's eight, and we were, we heard a commotion outside, and um, so I'm looking down at my notes just to make sure I don't forget anything, so the deck, there's an outside deck right off the kitchen, like we literally just opened a sliding door, walked right out, and it's like an upper raised deck, I felt like we were at least a second story, like at least the second level up off the ground, I look up in the sky and there are alien spaceships, okay, <laughs> and I don't usually dream of alien spaceships, okay, but um, I was so astonished, I just stared and I just, um, what, let me first describe them, right away I saw two and they were of different shapes um, and they were metallic like a silver kind of color. They were not saucers. They just looked like big ships, like big metallic ships. And I knew instantly in my spirit, these were aliens. These were alien spaceships. Okay. And immediately just that self-preservation kicks in. My, I just instinctively just hunkered down real fast, like right by the banister. Like there was like a railing of this deck. And I had my daughter next to me and I'm peeking up. I, like I was hiding and I was peeking up, looking at these two spaceships. Now over the deck, I see a city. It looks like just, I see like skyscrapers and buildings and um, people walking in the streets and cars on the roads. So I felt like it was right near a city and I didn't recognize the city. It didn't look like when I recognize where I live, it just looked like a bigger city. Um, so then I look right above my head and there is a third spaceship and it was enormous. It took up almost the whole sky and it was rippled it looked different from the other two it was almost rippled and I tried to draw a picture I'm not I like to draw but I don't usually draw spaceships so I'm not really good at machines but it looked kind of like this it had ripples going through it and it was long and it was kind of I'm not sure how like wide it was but that's I just remember distinctly seeing like waves on the side of it okay and I want to say that I wasn't terrorized I wasn't afraid I was just in awe of seeing these and I said to myself I can't believe that what was the word I had I wrote down exactly what I said that it's really happening I can't believe they're here it's really happening I wasn't shocked I wasn't surprised I felt like I knew they were coming but to see it with your own eyes like to know something and to see something like to know Jesus and then to see Jesus, you have a, you know, it's there, but you can't believe it just astonishes you when you see it. So I was seeing these spaceships going, oh my gosh, there they are. It's here. It's really happening. They're really here. Um, at that moment, then I see a missile come out of, I don't know which spaceship it was. I just all of a sudden saw a missile go down into the city and I grab my daughter and we, and I, throw her to the ground and I get on top of her and I say, cover your face, cover your face from the aftershock. Don't let the glass get in your eyes. And that was like very specific. I remember worrying about the, our eyes. I said, don't let the glass get in your eyes. And I just held over like that, just bracing myself, knowing what was coming. And then I woke up. Okay. So, um, I immediately look at, okay, what does this mean? <laughs> Cause I've read and I've heard other people you know, say that, that this could be later on when Satan gets kicked out of heaven and the angels fall to earth, they come in the guise of aliens and anybody who's ever sighted aliens or believes in aliens, it's all they are, are demons. Okay. That's what they are, are demons or fallen angels. So this could be symbolic. These seeing these spaceships could either be symbolic 
of the fallen angels finally coming to earth or they can indeed come looking like spaceships it might, that could be some either symbolism in my dream and they were really fallen angels just to look like spaceships in my dream or they can indeed come to earth in spaceships to really I just don't know when that would happen. I don't. Some people think it was at Revelation 12 when their war breaks out in heaven. Um, so the only thing is, is that I was thinking we would be raptured before then. But um, I was, I was, I, you can tell I had so many questions about this. And I was thinking, I have a friend, Rhonda Epson. You probably have seen her. She makes a lot of videos. She's awesome. Rhonda Epson. Um, I thought I had heard, remember a video that she had made about spaceships. I couldn't be sure, but I felt like really inclined to reach out to her. We chit chat sometimes back and forth. So I reached out to her. And so she wrote back to me um, with her, some of her take on this. Um, she felt it was a warning dream. And it was, it felt like the fact that I was saying it's here, it's here is showing how close we are. Um, she was reminding me also, yeah, the dream she had, um, where she saw a sky full of white spaceships and she knew they were fallen angels. And, um, let's see. She also talked about the raised deck and she said that the second level is like the second heaven, which is the, um, let's see, where did she say that? Yeah. The second. Okay. Um, second, we'll be talking about the second heavens is where you saw, um, which is basically, I believe that's the dominion of <clears throat> uh, not the, the air that we're, we have, like the atmosphere that immediately that is like space. Okay. And that's where the principality. So it could be very well like the second level of what, of what I was seeing. Um, okay. So then, <clears throat> excuse me, let me get back to, okay. I've got so many different pages open here. Okay. So that was giving me confirmation too, that she was kind of, she kind of helps to unlock some of the symbolism. Then this like very same day, someone happens to share, I was talking about something unrelated. Um, it was somebody else's video I put on my wall on Facebook. And one of my friends on Facebook happened to share a dream that her son had, which was about war breaking out and alien spaceships. <laughs> and so I asked if I could share her son's dream. And she said, yes. So let me just read it for my friend, Christy, Michelle, Mich uh, Christy, I'm not going to share your last name just in case you don't want me to share it. Uh, Christy said my nine-year-old received a dream a month ago about war coming to the USA and the rapture too. He saw part of the year with the seven in it, like 2000 something seven. Yeah, it could very well be this year, obviously. Um, she said, China, Russia, Japan, Korea, invading nuclear war. My son was in the arms of Jesus with all brothers and sisters in Christ who believe he is Lord will be saved. Those that completely reject Christ will be taken away and killed. Something about alien invasion he saw in his dream. A lot of death and destruction. We don't know the day or the hour. We are in the season. My son and I, I also felt the utterance of the Holy Spirit to get this message out. Okay. And then I'm um, just last night, I had come across another dream, a dream I wasn't even expecting. I was, and I don't normally get the opportunity to jump on YouTube and watch videos, but I was working out on that dusty machine over there, <laughs> finally giving it a workout there. And I, that's my chance to kind of go through some videos. And I came across one I wasn't even expecting here about aliens. And she's talking about a war breaking out and looked out the sky and there were spaceships. And I'm going to put her link to her video in the notes. Um, her name is Desiree Scala. And it's just called Rapture Dream 5 12, 2017. And it's interesting because Michelle's son had his dream, I think she said just last month. And then Desiree just had her dream a few days, or just like a few days before mine, I think. So, uh, so obviously we're getting, um, yeah, he said, she said a month ago for her son. So everybody is like seeing stuff and the Lord is, is getting all our attention and he's obviously putting out a warning. Now I want to reiterate the fact that when I was in this dream, seeing this and it feeling extremely real, like I was going, wow, it's here. I was not scared. The whole, I feel like God was protecting us. I feel like, okay, they're dropping a missile. Okay, fine. Uh, this is it for me. I'm going to heaven. <laughs> you know, that was, I wasn't afraid. And, um, I think that there was something like Rhonda was pointing out symbolic of being on that deck 
It had a railing around it. Um, it was kind of lifted off. I wasn't on the earth. I wasn't on the ground with all the, the spectators, yet I still felt like the, I could feel the aftershock. Like I, something about it was going to impress itself upon me. Like I felt like, okay. And the eyes, I believe Rhonda also pointed out, that means seer, seeing to see things. Um, and it's interesting because I just now thought of this. There was uh, about a few weeks ago, I felt the Lord, I heard an audible voice as I was waking up early, early one morning, I heard the audible voice speak to me and he said, I speak to you in pictures. And I knew it was the Lord. And I thought about that and I realized, okay, pictures as in dreams, he shows me and he's shown me signs that I recognize. It's like our own language. And it's something that I've, I've kind of known, but I felt like he was just now confirming it to me. So he was talking to me and that's when you, when you're shown something in pictures, you have to see them. So I felt like the fact that I was protecting my eyes, I have to protect my eyes and those spaceships, they are demonic. And, um, it could also be symbolic of those fallen angels making war on us or an attack. I thought maybe it's could be symbolic of a demonic attack, you know, and I'm, and he's, they're now launching their missiles. They are, you know, declaring war like never before. So so many ways you can look at this dream. Like it could be literally, we're going to be under attack by these so-called aliens, really demons. It could be in the spirit realm. It's going on right now. Um, they're just launching missiles at us in the form of attacks um, in the spiritual realm. Pray on this, you guys. I'm just sharing what the Lord shows me. I prayed on this. I asked for confirmation and he just, he continues to give it to me each day. So um, it, it did feel very urgent and I felt like I'd be very remiss and suffering his judgment if I did not get this out after he showed me a very clear warning. So pray on this, use discernment. Uh, I, I am doing the same and just want to get that out there. Um, Lord Jesus, I pray, I plead your blood, Yeshua, over this video, over all my videos, the words I speak, Holy Spirit flow through me and show us what this means show us give us understanding give us discernment give us wisdom lord jesus in your name we pray amen okay thanks guys i will talk to you soon bye